explain Google Cloud to your grandmother. Hi, my name is Jeff H. Seip from practiceinterviews.com. This is a pretty typical type of Google interview question where they're going to ask you to explain something to what appears to be or we're assuming is a pretty unsophisticated unknowing audience and we're going to really need to simplify. Now another very, very common question that's similar is explain Google Ads to a six-year-old. So what I want you to be thinking about in this video is these items really apply across the board for any explanation type of question. So a couple of last minute items are, we are going to actually do a sample answer to this question and then I'm gonna just present a small switch up at the very end of this video. So definitely stay tuned. Item one, clarification. I mean, this is just a critical facet and it's probably one of the number one areas where people fall down because there's a lot of gray area in this question. So within clarification, step one is we really need to understand the user. Do they have familiarity with this subject? Because even though it's our grandmother, we don't know everything that our grandmother knows and we don't know the depth of her knowledge about Google Cloud, so we would wanna clarify this item. Step two is understanding the relationship. So this is a little bit trickier because it's been defined as your grandmother, but we would still want to establish this simple item to presume to say, hey, are we presuming that I have an established relationship with my grandmother, yes or no? Don't make this assumption. The relationship question is almost always a good question for any kind of open-ended question. Now step three, is understanding a little bit about the logistics. Just a couple of items that I would wanna clarify here are how much time do I have to explain this to my grandma? And then secondarily, I would just really wanna understand, do I have any tools or visuals that I can use? Uh, just a couple of really, really basic items. Now item two, the framework. So this is a very straightforward question and it's almost similar to a straightforward technical question a framework is not going to be super relevant in this case. You could bring one in, but it's probably not going to benefit you that much. And so while I'm a big advocate of frameworks to help you for organizational purposes, this question is going to be a little bit more straightforward. So I would skip the framework. Now item three, assumptions. Make sure your assumptions are very, very clear before diving into this answer. We really want to establish again what is their knowledge base? What is our relationship? And what is that kind of timeline and tools I have? Because it's just, we can't move forward without stating these items and it's the power of assumptions, especially in a question like this. So just make sure you go on that path from clarifying to making those good assumptions. And then item four is the solution. So really high level, if you get anything out of this video, it's all about creating a great visual and it's a huge pause moment for us. In that explanation to your grandmother, you have to create great visuals. If you speak at a really high level, there's gonna be no connectivity and our answer is truly gonna fall flat. And so we wanna try and connect it to a couple of functions of the service, whatever that service might be, in this case, Google Cloud, and then specifically how it's gonna benefit them at the, as the user. And then the last piece is we just wanna bring it back to the organization for a moment and say how it benefits the organization so we have that holistic picture. Item five, sample answer. So let's dive in. As always, Sue, our great fake interviewer, and then we're gonna roll through it and I'm gonna build in the cadence and the pauses as well. So, okay, Sue, I'd have a few clarifying questions. The first thing I really just need to establish is does my grandmother know anything about Google Cloud or cloud technologies in general? Okay, a few other questions that I just need to know is, I know you said your grandmother, but should I presume that I have an established relationship with my grandmother, yes or no? I'd also wanna understand my timeline. Do I have one minute, three minutes, five minutes to explain this to my grandmother? And then the last question would be, do I have to do all of this verbally or can I use some visual tools as well? So can you clarify any of those questions for me? Okay, let's just dive right in. 
uh, will be user focused on our grandmother and let me make some assumptions. I'm going to assume that my grandmother is not technical, that we have a really, really good relationship and I have a pretty good knowledge that she's not technical. And I'm going to assume I have only a few minutes to explain this to her with no visual aids. So let's dive right in, Sue, into the solution. So grandma, I know you love salad. So we're gonna use salad as our analogy to help you understand Google Cloud a little better. So what do you do? You spend a lot of time and energy growing your vegetables. You spend a lot of time in the garden. You don't always get everything out of the garden because the rabbits get to it or sometimes the produce isn't always perfect. Then once you're done in the garden, then you have to wash and clean and chop all the vegetables. I know you also like to chop these vegetables for the winter time and save them up and use them throughout the winter. I know your freezer broke last year where you like to keep these, so I know you had to replace that. I know from time to time you also have to replace things like your gardening tools, knives. I know that that's a little less common. I also know that you still have to go to the store, that you can't get all the vegetables you want and that you need to get the ingredients to also make your homemade dressing. So. Your love for salads is impressive, but it's also a time commitment and comes at a relatively high cost. Now, I want you to imagine you didn't have all this time and all this money. Well, you could go right back to that grocery store and go right to a Whole Foods and go right to the salad bar. And you could build your own salad every single day with all the ingredients you love. And the best part about it is, you only pay for what you buy, literally the weight of that salad. And you would probably likely save time and money too. Maybe some days you don't wanna eat salad anymore and you are just forcing yourself to eat salad because you had all this fresh produce that was potentially gonna go bad. So how is all this similar to Google Cloud? Well, let's just imagine that we put your garden into more of a corporate setting. And in these corporate settings, they have these big computer rooms called server rooms and similar to maintaining everything in a garden, these big computers, it's expensive and technology is constantly changing as you know. So just like if you like to eat a salad from Whole Foods, companies can use Google Cloud, which is essentially Google's big computers and their data centers. And this gives them more offerings to services and capabilities instead of having to do it on their own. And essentially what Google Cloud is, is it's similar to the Whole Food options. So there are Google Cloud options too. And so when companies aren't using these services, similar to when you're not buying the salad, the costs of running the equipment go down. And then on days where you're more hungry or you're going to a party and you wanna buy more salad, similar Google Cloud can scale up for these companies that are growing in a particular day or just growing overall. And regardless of whether you go to Whole Foods on that particular day or whether a company uses Google Cloud on that day, both are always working to improve their services for the benefit of the user and the consumer, you. And so you know the experience is gonna to continue to get better and better regardless of the effort or input that you put into it. Now, what's the value to them? Just like paying for a salad at Whole Foods, Google Cloud makes money when you use their big computers. Grandma, I know that this is super high level, but does this make sense to you? Okay, Sue, so let's stop there. Um, I can definitely highlight and get a little bit more into the scaling component. We can talk a little bit more about availability. We can talk a little bit more about ease of use. We didn't really get too much into that or maybe we could flip over and talk a little bit more about resources. Is there an area you prefer? Okay, that I know is still pretty high level. There's probably a lot of things I missed, but those are some of the items in, in which like we could really correlate a salad to Google Cloud. It's not perfect, that's not the intent. We gave this great visual of grandma in the garden, really doing all the work, and then we tried to equate that work to putting that on Google to do the work for companies. Again, not gonna be the perfect translation. It can always be improved and be worked on. So item six is the switch up. So one of the items in these questions is to see how you communicate and 
simplify for an assumed, remember, unsophisticated audience, as we mentioned early on. But I kind of like the curveball in this answer too. So I just wanted to preface this such as we could ask all the same questions and then in our assumptions we could say, okay, Sue, I'm going to assume uh, my grandmother is a director of engineering for GCP and I'm going and I'm interviewing for a sales engineer role for GCP and she's helping me in my interview prep. Um, what I want to do is I'm going to talk to her in more simplistic language like I was talking to a customer and have her give me feedback and then dive in. And I know that that would be a super risky approach, but this narrow vision of grandma not being technical is one that we kind of need to drop and flipping it and making it more inclusive could be a totally interesting approach that just blows your interviewer away. I used an approach similar to this in my GCA interview and I can tell you it worked. S flipping and switching the script to not really answer the question in the intended manner or methodology can be really, really impactful. To sum up, we need to clarify. That is huge. We gotta present great visuals. Now you'll be thinking about the salad and don't forget that unique approach. It can be super powerful. If you like my content, please like. If you have any comments, please comment below. And if you like my overall content, please subscribe. Thanks.